Underneath the northern Iraqi town of Sinjar lies a now abandoned network of tunnels that was built by the Islamic State group, complete with sleeping quarters, cooking tools, and wired with electricity. TNT. The Associated Press obtained footage of the tunnels, which were uncovered by Kurdish Peshmerga forces, who retook Sinjar earlier this month. Much of the city now looks like this, buildings in ruins, debris flooding into the streets. But underground, the tunnels the militants built were fortified with sandbags, presumably to help withstand the blows from airstrikes. Painkillers and prescription drugs litter the ground. Dusty copies of the Quran lay stashed on shelves, and boxes of U.S.-made ammunition are strewn about. The tunnels lead into houses, cluttered with clothes, more sandbags, and lots of dust. Outside, remnants of a more haunting kind. Bones, skulls scattered about, evidence of what the Peshmerga soldiers say is a Yazidi mass grave. Thousands of Yazidi civilians are thought to have been murdered by ISIS militants after they overran the area in August of 2014. There's no telling how long it will take to rebuild this city, or when any of those who fled may try to return. Nori Nasser, Associated Press.